Jim DeMint. He's a Republican uh, senator from South Carolina, and he wants to stick his you know, flag in the ground and say, I am the Tea Party clown of the world, and I want all the Tea Party guys to rally around me. And his main thing is the Republican Party is just simply too liberal and works with the Obama administration too much. A kingmaker. And, um, uh, and really, the being part of elected leadership here in the Congress um, doesn't excite me that much because it tends to be more of an administrative position. Uh, what we need to do is just restore the faith of the American people in our government. In this next election, they need to have some clear choices. When they say they'd rather have a Tea Party than a Republican, what, they want, what they're telling us is they want some changes. And they want some people to stand up for principles. And in this case, they want us to show some passion and even some anger about what's going on. And I think there are many Republicans out there across the country who are willing to step into that role. And we just need to give them a shot. So the Senate Conservatives Fund, which is SenateConservatives.com, by the way, if folks want to help, uh, is just there to encourage those alternative candidates out there who um, are what I consider mainstream Americans. Because the, it's, the par problem here in the Republican Party is not that our base has gone to the right. The problem in the Republican Party is that the leadership has gone to the left. And the Tea Parties and the, and the Republicans out across the country are right there where um, um, you know, ba American principles have always been. And I'm trying to pull the party back to the mainstream of where American really, America really is. These people live on a different planet. They really do. But okay, look, look, let me, Republican leaderships, leadership is to the left. On what? They haven't given Obama a single vote on almost anything. Two Republicans, well, three at the time with, with Specter, gave him a vote on the stimulus bill. But that's the leadership opposed them. They hated them. They wanted to run him out of the, their party, and they did. They ran Arlen Specter out of the party. How is the Republican leadership too far to the left? How much less than zero votes can they give Obama? On health care right now, they're zero. How much further to the right could they be? He says, no, they're not uh, far right wing enough. I hope they listen to DeMint. I really do. Okay. That cliff isn't that far off, Jim. Keep going. Okay. Now, meanwhile, Rush Limbaugh picks up that theme and says, Mitch McConnell, the Republican leadership, he was working with Obama too much. How many votes can they give him that is lower than the number zero. I don't, I don't understand it, right? So no, Limbaugh says, no, no, the problem isn't just that they're all voting against health care in this case. Uh, it's that they aren't doing enough to delay uh, and obstruct, et cetera. And the Republican leadership says, look, we're introducing as many amendments as we possibly can to delay the process and to make the bill better just in case it passes because they have these huge numbers on the Democratic side, et cetera, but mainly to delay. And Limbaugh says, not good enough, Mitch. I need you to throw every, you know, uh, legislative trick you have, parliamentary tactic you have, throw a monkey wrench into that, and under no circumstances should it pass before Christmas. Rush has told you, and bow your head, Mitch. So apparently Republican leadership, far too liberal, uh, according to Rush Limbaugh, and they're doing a terrible job in opposing Obama, and Jim DeMint agrees. And to give you a sense of, you know, with the state of the Republican Party as we stand, uh, public policy polling says, 35% of Republicans now want to impeach Obama. When asked to give a reason as to why they want to impeach Obama, respondents did not have one. They don't like him. Now, remember when Bush broke all the, the FISA laws and the warrantless wiretapping and the illegal invasion? Said, no, 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 never, don't even think about it for a second. Not even in the seventh year, not in the eighth year, not when the Democrats are taken in charge. Obama's in charge. They're like, come on, come on, come on, let's impeach. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Thirty-five percent is a big number for all the Republicans across the country, based on absolutely nothing. Thirty-five percent. Watch more clips at theyoungturks.com.